Hello again. In preparation for startup this morning, I wanted to introduce you to the software package that I'm using on this system. So I wanted to sh show it to you now before it's running and there's noise and I can't really point things out. So uh, I'm going to zoom in on some of the uh, uh, areas of the of the system. So so system conditions pretty uh, clear cut. It's cold. It's operational state shut down, core temperature, uh, cold, everything's cold. As you can see, differential pressure is just a ne negligible number. We're just looking at noise level now from the pressure sensor. Um, filter pressure, that's an absolute value. So you'll see that in, as a negative value when it's running. Um, and then differential and filter pressure um, in TOR for those of you who are interested in seeing it in those values. Um, so moving on down, it, um, the IO state is listed here. So flare valve, when I trigger it on, it'll come on. Uh, the shake, the main valve, which is not used anymore, it, it had an automatic valve that switched between uh, flare and generator that, that's been removed. Now I'll put it back later. Um, IO attaches tells you that the computer is talking to the IO. Engine running, pretty obvious. Um, uh, air in valve. Again, this is another valve that's not in service right now. Gas out um, valve uh, similarly is not open. These are big solenoid valves that are not used right now. Everything's manual in terms of the valving except for the shake and the flare. Uh, servo, none of this is operational yet, but that's going to be how I servo in the proper amount of air fuel mixture. Um, and I'll, um, so I've got the hooks into that software wise to, to implement the servo system. Um, uh, main control, manual control rather. So this is toggled on and off with up here under manual control. So it's enabled now. So this is where I can manually turn on valves shake, flare, air in, gas out, um, and then toggle the big main valve. Um, again, um, the, the automatic features have been disabled now as I continue development, but I'm gonna put those back in later um, so that ideally when this thing's running, I just push a button, start, and it goes through its whole sequence of startup and running and, um, and so on. But right now, everything's manual. Uh, over here, this is something that I'm pretty happy about. This this is a chart that um, I designed that shows temperature versus pressure. So this is temperature of the combustion zone, looking only at the combustion zone, and and pressure of the differential pressure of the whole stack. So that's from top to bottom, the, the pressure across the system. So it's not absolute, and you can see it in in. Uh, inches of water. Um, so when this is running, when everything's optimized, you'll see this red dot float right to the middle of the chart, right where it should be. So somewhere, um, actually a little higher, somewhere around 1,000 degrees at 1,100 would be combustion chamber. And then um, uh, differential pressure can creep up to like seven inches of water. So, so you'll see the, um, I'm pointing on my phone, not my, Anyway, you'll see the uh, you'll see the red dot show up there somewhere. So that's that's a pretty cool little handy feature. And then this again is my um, when it's working in auto, I'm just going to hit buttons here. I'm going to hit you know you know basically a startup here, startup idle, or you know shut down, etc. Uh, so that's it. It's all written in Visual Studio, uh, VB.net. Um, and uh, so we're gearing up for get it going this morning. Um, all right, so uh, I'm pretty happy about this software. It's, um, uh, it's, it's actually working pretty well. And of course, everything's on just one, one single USB cable, which goes over to the control box over there, the NEMA box. And that has the fidg fidgets, uh, all the fidgets IO boards. Um, and I'll, maybe I'll put a link in there too, to fidgets. They have everything. They, um, everything that you need for this project, they probably have in terms of pressure sensors, IO boards, temperature, et cetera. Okay. 
Um, that's it.